Hello there. How are y'all today? Maya and I are out here in the, I don't even know if I can pronounce it, Cho Chualaca Forest. And we are doing our challenge. And what challenge we're doing today, we are doing Thailand, or no, Korea. I'm sorry. We are doing Korea. We're going to start out with a potato snack. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know, they're curly looking. Well then, let's dig in. Ooh, these are... Mm, they smell weird. They don't really smell... They don't have an appetizing smell, no. do they? No. Not really at all. Okay, get one. Get one out of there. That's all you're going to try is just one? Okay, well, I'm going to try one or two. We'll, we'll see <coughs> what happens with this. Okay, we're going to try these potato snacks. And, are you ready? You know, what does it smell? They, I was about to say, they kind of smell like dog food a little bit. No, they don't. They don't smell like, they, you know, they smell like soy, soy sauce. Mmm. Mm. They don't really have a taste to them, really. I think they taste pretty good. Here, take some. Get your mouth full. Mmm. The second one I ate kind of tastes like the Mexican tortilla. I mean, um, you know, the chips, just the plain old. Oh, tortilla chips? Yeah. I don't know. I like these. Yeah, me too. It's smaller. Get water. I give these potato snacks uh, five out of five. What do you give them? Five out of five. They're pretty cool. The texture of them is pretty cool. And they got this, they're like, look at that, textured on each side. Pretty cool. And the next thing we're going to try is, Maya's been just chomping at the bit to try this stuff. And it's the only, I think the only reason she's looking forward to it is because it's Hello Kitty. Isn't that right, Maya? Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. It's seaweed. Do you want your own pack of seaweed or are we going to share? Share. Oh, yeah, I see you're not that brave. You're not quite as brave as you thought you originally thought you would be, are you? Okay. That's, Ew! Oh, it looks pretty nasty. Let me smell. Oh, it smells like fish. <laughs> oh, God. Hmm, I think scary. we might need some potato snacks to chase that one down here. Let's get them well, out. At least, well, at least they're, like, very thin. We'll have it on the ready. You gotta eat that whole sheet. Oh, my God. Yes, you do. You know what I'm going to do with mine? I'm going to... I'm just going to fold it up. That's what I was going to think about doing. And then I'm just going to put it in my mouth. And... Oh, God, that's gross. Oh, oh good thing we're outside, man. <laughs> that is disgusting. They tried to oh, map... I spit mine out. They tried to mask it with some salt or something. But oh, it's downright. Ooh, this gets a zero. Out mm -hmm. This gets a zero out of a five. Oh, God. What are you going to give it, Maya? I'm going to eat some more of these chips. Zero out of five. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, the next thing we have, we got two things left. Wow, well, there's not much from, there's not much here from, uh, where did I say this was from? Well, this is Singapore. Oh, wait a minute, maybe this is the mixed bag. This is Korea. This is Korea. And this is. Oh, 
do, do. Korea. Why in the world we got? Maybe we just had an extra, so we threw it in here. This is from Singapore. That was nasty. All right then. Uh. Ooh. Well, these smell about the same as the others, but these are supposed to be honey, honey and apple. And they look, they're like bigger. They like looks like somebody took a piece of dough and twisted it and made it look. look it looks pretty cool. And it's got a like a brownish color to it. But let's take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. We should have had a dude before them. We would have got it. They better. No, I'm saying these things, at least that gets the taste of this nastiness out of it. Ooh, I wouldn't wish this crap on my worst enemy. We can throw them away. Well, we give them to Lydia. She seems to like seaweed. What? Too bad you don't have any little Asian friends at school. They might like it. Mm. <laughs> them, them things taste, I mean, they smell like Honey Nut Cheerios. Do we want to try these? Yeah. I'm gonna give those a five. I'm gonna give the honey twists a five out of a five. And I give them a five out of five. Okay. The next thing we're gonna try is Kwang Guan orange cream biscuits. Artificially, that sounds good. Cause I yeah. Like, got in here. I didn't really used to care for orange flavored things, but yeah. It's supposed to good lord, man. It's supposed to tear it. Evidently. Oh, here's it. It's scored right there. Mmm. Ah, oh, man, I got it. Here you go. Oh, thank you. And there's one for me. Mmm. They smell good. Oh, look. They look like those um, society crackers. Society crackers. Mmm, they smell delicious. Smell. I know. That's what I said. Oh, man, they're awesome. Try it. See if it's as good as it smells and looks. Mmm. Really good. seems like no matter how remote of an area we come to, we cannot have any peace and quiet. Well, was it last time? Was it the one we did last time? Yes, it was. The one we did last time, we got invaded by a bunch of people setting up for a birthday party. And now look, it's like 65 degrees outside. And it's four something in the afternoon, and these people come and they're setting up for a birthday party, and they had a bouncy house and everything they started putting up. Yeah. <laughs> so they didn't even say, Excuse us, you know, how much longer are you going to be here? They just came in and started doing their thing. All right. Let me put this back. Okay, I'm going to give the orange cream biscuits a five out of five. Definitely five out of five. Singapore. I didn't find a whole lot about from your country, but that's good. Okay. We won't be finishing off the... I don't think we're going to be finishing off those other things. And we've got a second half today. We're going to start a second half. Since there was only just a few from that country, 
we're gonna do Japan. Oh boy, look what we got from Japan. Oh no. Celebrate 50 years, the original wheat puffed snacks. All right then. Oh no. I'm scared. I'm getting my water ready. You know I don't like to scram. I don't know how you open these, but we're gonna try. Oh, there we go. Is that like what shrimp? it says? Shrimp? Yeah. Oh, shrimp chip. Baked chip. Yeah, I, I love shrimp. I hate shrimp. Ooh. I'm about to break mine in half. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Hold on. Here, here. Don't, no, you, hold on. I'm fixing to open up something else. Uh, which one want me to open up next? The Let's Cocoa try Baby. This one right here. Oh. We're going to get this one ready just to get the taste of this shrimp because it doesn't I'm it doesn't smell water. like even appetizing like shrimp it smells more like fish yeah. or like shrimp that I don't know if anybody eats it, it what I'll tell you what it smells like it smells like when I used to work at the prison and I, we would go into the building in the late in the, the officer that was in the module one of the ladies she liked seafood, and she would bring a whole bunch of blue crabs. Oh. And she would sit there throughout the shift and eat them blue crabs. <laughs> but if you don't throw that stuff in the trash right away after you eat it, man, it starts stinking fairly quickly. Mm. That's what this stuff smells like. Like the building used to smell when that lady would bring her blue crabs. All right. Ready? One, two, three. And it's not repulsive like that seaweed was, but it doesn't taste good either. I don't like shrimp at all. Well, tell you what we'll try next. We got this Calpico. Calpico non-carbonated soft drink. Original flavored. And this is from Japan. Tastes like vomit. It tastes like Sprite. That's why it tastes like vomit. I hate Sprite. I love Sprite. Okay, now we've got. I can't pronounce this because I can't read Japan, Japanese, but. It says thanks, 45 Apollo. Well, I'm assuming it's strawberry and chocolate because that's what it picked. Yeah. That's what it depicts on the front of it. So. Oh, look. They're like the little tiny candy corns, almost. Only, actually, they look like, you know what they look like? They look like little tiny teepees. Oh. <laughs> I got me, too. Our heart. I'm not supposed to suck on them. Oh. These remind me of something. The strawberry. Let me take another one. I know what they remind me of. They remind me of strawberry quick. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. They're good. I will give these a 5 out of 5. Definitely. I'll give these a 0 out of 5. That was what I was going to say. 0 out of 5. And I'll give that drink that tastes like vomit a 0 out of 5. Five out of five for the strength. Love it. Okay. We've got you can try the Chaco baby first or Yeah. If I can get it open. Yeah. There we go. You couldn't get that open. You she chews her nails, folks. I keep trying to tell her they'd look so much better and she'd be so much healthier if she quit chewing her nails. She got that bad habit from my granddaughter. My granddaughter is 17 and she still chews her nails. She's 
she had to get fake nails to go to the prime because she she was her nails so bad. Okay then. Choco baby. Ooh, they look weird. They look it comes in like a what is that? Tic tac dispenser. Oh, yeah. It's like a tic tac dispenser. <laughs> Ooh, I can, you can share them with me. I don't think you need that many. Here, give me three or four. They look like, yeah, they look like pellets. They, they're like pelleted chocolate. I'm wondering if they're going to be chewy like Tootsie Rolls. That would be good. I love Tootsie Rolls. I think they're just going to be like regular chocolate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big fan of chocolate, so I'm probably going to give this a 4 out of 5. Ooh, when you leave it in your mouth, it does start tasting like Tootsie Roll. I have in my book. 4 out of 4, because I don't like chocolate. Okay, here we got Botan Rice Candy. Botan. It's got a picture of a car on it. A car, a flower, and an elephant and a cat. This is different. Hey, I think you get a free sticker in there too. You do. It says it on the box. Ooh. Let's see what we got. We got a prize. It's Christmas. <laughs> Oh, it's oh a kitty cool! Cat. It's got a picture of a cat. Oh, Ice that. cream milk. Isn't that cute? Well, there's a sticker. With a kitty cat on it. I love cats. There you go. I still have that chocolate thing in my mouth. Okay. Eek. I'll put these back in there. Except for the one I'm going to eat. This kind of looks like it's paper, but it's not. You eat this. The inner, the inner wrapper. It's got two wrappers. The inner wrapper is like rice paper, and you eat yeah. that. It says each candy has an edible inner wrapper that melts in your mouth. It doesn't melt in my mouth. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, it kind of does melt in your mouth. I hear it, but I don't see it. There it is. I think we're supposed to suck on them. Yeah, it is awful hard. What flavor is it? I haven't gotten the flavor. I keep tasting that rice paper on the outside of it. I think it kind of tastes like lemon drops. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Hmm. This is good. I'm going to give it a 5 out of a 5. Me too. Since we have so much, I'm just not going to sit here and eat it all. Okay, let's see. Next thing we will try is product of Japan. Gluten-free it says. Watermelon gummy candy. And again it's scored so you can tear it. Okay then. I'm trying to be where I don't rip the whole bag up and have a bunch of unwrapped candy spilling out. Oh it's wrapped. How do you like that? I like them apples. <laughs> yeah, man. Each individually wrapped candies. I don't know how well I'm going to like this because I'm not really a big fan of watermelon anymore. It's gummies. Squeeze it. Yeah. <laughs> Unwrap it. Mmm.
kind of tangy. I think it must have natural juice in it because it's not too repulsive and the uh, color of it is very light. Here, let's throw this away. Got to throw the trash away. Man, you just don't know how, how, how I feel about the people that litter. <clears throat> it annoys me. It's my biggest pet peeve. People that disrespect our earth. That We only have one earth, folks. If we don't take care of it, <laughs> your future generations are screwed. Okay, here you go. My grandfather taught me to yeah. respect our land. Ooh, that's got sugar coating. Oh, it's like a heart. Ooh, it smells kind of. Mine's like a heart almost. You see? Maybe it's supposed to be heart. Heart says sour and few. Gluten free, fat free. I think so because the it has a heart shape right there. Yep, I think it's supposed to be heart shaped. It's supposed to be grape flavored. So, we, oh, it's got collagen in it. Oh, Jesus. What's collagen? It's not good for you. Okay. It's supposed Ooh. to be sour. It's tart. Yeah, it says it's supposed to be sour. Mmm. So about it. Mm. This is a sour. I could eat them all day and it won't be sour. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give them a five out of five. Five out of five. It's delicious. I'll eat some more later on. I thought you just said it was sour. It is, but I like sour sometimes. It reminds me of those homegrown grapes. The tart grapes, not those bland kind of grapes you buy in the store. I'm talking about fresh off the vine grapes. They're delicious. Okay, we can only have one more on this one. And this is Hokiato Matcha Milk Candy. Hard candy, product of Japan. And if you can read that, you're better off than I am. <laughs> and these are also individually wrapped. That's cool. There goes my little dog. The dog's in the car, and every time somebody rides, <laughs> evidently I'm sitting by a bike trail. And so every time somebody comes by, that little dog just goes berserk. Ooh, milk flavored, but it's green. It's green, folks. That's scary to me. How about you? No. You want to know what the, the color of this green looks like? The pistachio color. The pa pistachio color on the packages, you know? That's what the color looks like. I don't know. I'm going to give it a minute. If it comes seaweed flavor. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Ooh, that's disgusting. <laughs> okay. The last two, I'm gonna give that that uh, this kind of candy, whatever it is. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give this candy a zero out of five. What about you? Zero out of five. Was there any we didn't rate? I'm going to give the rice 5 out of 5 just in case I hadn't rated it. I know I rated those. I'm going to give the watermelon 5 out of 5. 5 out of 5. I'm going to give the... I think, it, I think I've done it all. Oh, we didn't do the grape one. Yeah, we did. Oh, we did. Oh, I'm going to give the grape 5 out of 5. and just 5 out of 5, too. Okay, now, read the directions because this is something different. I saw them... Uh, what was that one I watched? Oh, I'll read Rainy Day Dream. It was either Rainy Day Dreamers or their other channel. The um, 
What's your other channel? I haven't watched in a lot. Epic uh, Review. Yeah, those. Epic, epic Review. One of those channels, they the man, Paris his name is, he used to live in Japan. He taught in Japan when he first graduated from college. And so he's had experience with it. And his daughter's tried. He's got two lovely little daughters. Well, not little. They're preteen and teenager. But they uh, tried this. And there's some kind of a ball that you have to release. So... Let's see. Okay, you better so read the directions, Maya, because you know I can't see this small. On the seal side, because like this part's covering up. Let's see yours. Maybe it's not like that. Shall we open it? It says, push down center to release the opener. Place the opener into the top of the okay, bottle. Okay. I see what it is. Don't open that part yet. Okay. Let me push it like this. <laughs> oh, you hear that? Yeah. Mm, yeah kind of weird. weird. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, wow.